they are going to be held accountable. And I hope they rot in hell. Well, some pretty strong language coming from Governor Cox today, more than two months since a 12-year-old West Haven boy's death from alleged starvation at the hands of family members. Today we spoke with the governor about the child abuse homicide case. Ariel Harrison live tonight from the Capitol. Heidi Mark, I've asked the governor to speak on this in the past, and today, from my understanding, was the first time he's spoken publicly about the Gavin Peterson case. It's something that's upset not just people in Weber County, but all across the state. Today, in his monthly press conference with reporters, I asked Governor Cox about concerns community members have voiced to me as I've reported Gavin Peterson's story. His father, stepmom, and brother are currently behind bars, each accused of playing a role in his death of alleged starvation and severe abuse and neglect. During the press conference today, I asked him about Gavin's case. Many reports were filed to the state on his behalf. As I've been working on these stories reporting, concerns continue to come up about staffing and funding regarding DCFS. Uh, Governor, are you aware of these concerns and what are you doing about it? Yeah, sure, thank you. And, and thanks for your reporting on, on that terrible, uh, tragic case um, uh, that, that should, should never happen, obviously. Um, child abuse is um, incredibly disturbing and uh, I, I hate that we live in a time where it still continues. We, um, we have incredible workers at DCFS, uh, just some of the best in the, in the state. And it's, uh, sadly, it's impossible to, to find and root out every single case of, uh, of child abuse that occurs. We could use some more caseworkers, um, for sure. Social services is one sector that's been particularly hard hit. Turnover is is happening more rapidly than it used to in the past. We've uh, we've done some things. We've elevated wages there to try to try to keep people here, keep them longer. Since Gavin had been pulled from public school leading up to his death, the governor was also asked today about safeguards when it comes to homeschooling. Here was his response. The people who, who are accountable for this are the people who abuse this child, and, and they are going to be held accountable, and I hope they rot in hell. Um, they are the people responsible. It's not the government going into everyone's homes and everybody who's homeschooling. Now, the governor says their efforts to fund DCFS, like I asked, are ongoing, and it's something that they're actively still working on. I asked if he is supportive of more funding. He told me he is. Three weeks from today, Gavin's family members are scheduled back in the Weber County courts. Reporting live from the state capitol, Ariel Harrison, KUTV2 News.